Deleting a record from the database, again, will be a very straightforward process with Entity Framework. We will create an instance of the product's context using an using statement. We will also modify the delete product methods signature so that it accepts a product as a parameter. And we will call the remove method in the DB set passing the product and save the changes. And that's it. What we will add though is a new method that will handle that operation in the product service. And that will be an intermediate between the controller and the menu. So you'll be a static void method where we will store the product as a variable and that product will be grabbed from the method that's in the service, get product option input, and then I'll pass that product into the delete product method in the controller. And back in the menu, I have modified the code so that it's now calling the delete product in the product service class. And that should be enough. Let's test the application. So I'm going to add a couple of products again. Cappuccino and Latte. And I can see both of them in the list. And if I choose delete product and delete the Latte, now it disappeared from the list. So everything is working as expected. Now let's just do some refactoring so that all the operations are being handled by the service. So I'm going to add a method for the add product operation. And I'll copy the code currently in the menu. I'll call the service from the menu. And I'll paste that code into the service. Then I'll create a method in the service to get products. And I'll copy the code from the menu. Paste it into the service. And back in the menu, I'm going to call that method in the service. And I'm also going to make the get product option input as private since it's only being used by this class. Then I'll create a get product method in the product service. And copy the code from the menu. Call the service from the menu. Paste the code into the service. And this product service invocation isn't necessary anymore since we are in the service itself. So let's test just to make sure that we didn't break anything. I'm adding a product, adding an espresso, and it was correctly added. And if I delete the cappuccino, cappuccino has disappeared, so everything works as expected. In the next lesson, Let's see how we can update products.